And though we haven't already played Minecraft on every single console imaginable now, we're playing it on the Nintendo Switch. I am your host, Brian. Welcome to Level End. This is the Minecraft port to the Nintendo Switch. And, um, we're gonna create a mode. And the, the thing with, with the specific versions for the Wii U and the Switch, you get the Super Mario uh, skin pack and the Super Mario World. So, we're gonna do that. Uh, I'm gonna show you the entire world. It basically it acts like the Fallout world. It acts like the Chinese mythology world where as you can tell right now the entire map is based around Super Mario. And we're gonna explore it and check it out because I've actually never seen it before in detail. So uh, let's do that. So we start off uh, kinda you know I, I, it looks like a mushroom hut and uh, what you're gonna be seeing is a lot of like, oh, these are oak planks, these are, you know, obsidian and bedrock, because I actually haven't explored any of uh, anything yet in this version of Minecraft. So although I know everything that kind of goes on, the game doesn't know that, so it's gonna keep displaying tips every time we approach a new block and see a new thing, but um, yeah, so here we go. Enter out of here, here we go, ha, huh, Super Mario, ooh, so... Oak fence, yeah, that's gonna keep happening. Um, what I've learned from being in the Fallout series that I've done before is you're not supposed to be able to break any of the blocks, so just as easily we could uh, fly around and do the whole thing, but uh, we're gonna stay within our bounds. Ooh, we got some a boomerang flower, a cloud flower, fire flower, maybe? Cool, so here we go. Just gonna take a look at everything around here. So we have this giant Super Mario sign here as soon as we come out of here. And what I really love is that like even when you go up to the warp pipes over here, you will you'll you'll like actually go down a warp pipe. I think that's super cool. So here we go, go down here. Oh, we lost a little bit of health. It's a bit of a weird thing that happens. Redstone lamp emits lights when powered. Okay, kind of looks like a Oh, hey. All right, cool. So now here we go. Um kind of looks like a music block, but not really, not too much. So Awesome. So now we go down this warp pipe a little bit further and boop or rather now there's water and here we are. So this is a complete 3D rendition of Mario. That's pretty cool. I'm surprised that they were able to pull it off in Minecraft because typically it, it just when you make a character in 3D, it just doesn't look good, but they managed to make it look really good and them editing the texture pack to make it a lot more colorful definitely helps where if you tried to make this with just standard minecraft blocks there's no way any of this would look anywhere near as colorful um i don't know if you noticed from the intro at all. and actually no you didn't because i edited that out but um i tried making like a nintendo switch with a regular minecraft texture pack didn't look good because it just wasn't as colorful so there's that um so i like the texture pack even to begin with even if it's not in this super mario world it's actually really really cool so, I guess we'll go and explore the whole thing. We have our handy dandy map right here. Ooh, it's a star. That's pretty cool. Um, everything is all decked out just like it would be in Mario. You know, we have the hearts and the mushrooms are for hunger. Like, everything, everything makes sense in some way. Everything from like the music and the grass and like even the trees. Like, the trees are used with fences and and oak leaves not necessarily the standard wood that you would see for the uh the trunk of a tree so that's pretty cool so what i can gather as well as we go into different sections here everything is represented by a a different part of a map so like it seems like now we're entering into a desert part of the map or what would be a desert part if we were in an actual mario game um so we have red coin up there and then, does that do anything? No. But it's cool that, like, if you looked at this thing from the map, from top down, it looks like you're traveling from world to world. That's pretty awesome, too. So if you were playing in an original Mario game, then, oh, I go from level 1-1 to level 1-2 and all that. So that's pretty cool. That looks like Peach's Castle. I'm going over there right now. Hey, Peach, how you doing? Um, so we are going toward the right side of the map. 
and I want to go inside Peach's Castle because Super Mario 64 was my game of choice as a child. I absolutely love that game. Uh, it's that's probably one of my top five favorite games of all time, just because of the memories that I've had with it over the years. It's super, super awesome. So we could go inside of this right here, or we could go that way. I'm gonna go inside the uh, the uh, warp pipe right here. See where this takes us. Should maybe take us right to Peach's Castle. Or maybe it's one of those transport things that'll, uh... Yeah, there we go. Cool. So now we're actually at uh, Peach's Castle, just like we are in Super Mario 64. Oh, that's pretty cool. And you can check out the uh, Super Mario 64 playthrough I've done. Not in Minecraft, but in actual... the actual game. So you can do that if you want to. So this is a complete recreation, minus the big bomb bomb king being up there and whatever of what's going on in uh, Super Mario 64. So, no cannon here, that's okay though. Um, I wonder if we could go through the basement. No, because it's technically flooded. Cannot do that, that'd be cool if there was a door down there. We'll have to just wait and see. So here we go, inside of Peach's castle. Let's see if how, oh, it's super accurate. Oh, it's super cool. So they have to make everything out of wool because otherwise it won't look as good. You know, they made it super colorful, that way it looks pretty accurate. So, I don't know if there's the bomb on painting inside of here. If there is, that'll be good. And there is, that's good. Oh, that's so cool. Imagine if you could go, th can you go through it? Ah, oh, no. Oh, you can go through it! Oh, you can go through it! Oh, you can go! Okay, I'm not going through it right now. Oh, that's cool. Okay. So, you know we can go through the bomb on painting. I don't know where it goes. Uh, this should be... Uh, the third level of the snowy mountain, it doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> Oops. Oops, that's a bit, yep, that's disappointing. That's okay, though. I, I understand. They can't do every single one. Just, I, yeah. There's no basement to the castle, I guess. You, you could totally modify this world and make the whole castle in this scale. That'd be pretty cool. That'd be a really cool project to do. Somebody's probably already done it, but, um... If I ever got bored, and, and if anybody else hasn't done it, I will gladly do it. Can we go through here? No, that looks like it's a painting. Yeah, that's a painting, all right. And that's not the same door it should be. That's not an accurate door. It should be a normal door. But you know what? That's that's okay, man. That's a, Ooh, there's something behind here. Hey, ooh, music disc ward. I have found one of 12 music discs. Awesome. Ooh, so that's the technique you need to use in order to put the painting on a wall that isn't technically a wall, you put some signs there. All right. Didn't know that building technique. I'm assuming these are metal bars. So now that we've explored the castle as much as we possibly can, let's see where this takes us. That music is so awesome. Such a great, such a great theme. Absolutely perfect. Oh, there we go. And, um... Clearly not the Bomb Bomb Kingdom, but uh, that's okay. So now we're on this side. Um, this doesn't go anywhere Mario related. And oh, that's Delfino Plaza. Oh, I'm going there. Oh, I'm going there, boy. Oh, we're going there now. Oh. So this was out for the Wii U for a very long time. It, it came out a long time ago. And I never got it on the Wii U because I just didn't want to I I just like at that point I knew Minecraft was out but I saw the Super Mario pack I saw it just a little bit of it a couple hours or like not even a couple hours like a couple minutes of gameplay but I didn't actually ever buy it so this is my first time taking a really big in-depth look there's the mountain and everything oh that's so cool so oh we haven't done our map in a while okay cool um got to keep updated on where we are and I don't know what that's supposed to be, but I, I can already tell I'm not supposed... Oh, it's a Goomba! Hi, Goomba! What's oh, a chicken! Oh, that's cool. Um, I can already tell I'm not supposed to be over here. So, that's a bit problematic. Um, what if I go inside of this warp pipe right here? Will this take me anywhere? Well, I can't technically get up there. Yes, I can't. No, I can't. Okay. No, I cannot technically go up there. Um... Because I don't want to have to break any blocks. It's what I've learned from, again, playing the Fallout series. You're not you're not supposed to... Ooh! 
You're a mushroom? No, you're a sheep. That's an interesting choice for a sheep to be a Koopa with four legs. Okay. Um, that's what I've learned from playing in the Fallout series. Don't break any of the blocks. Oh, it's the Delfino Sunrise. Um, because that kind of breaks the immersion of it. So we're going to get back on track here. Um, and it's going to be nighttime soon. That's not good. Ooh, I'm curious what all the, uh, what all the creepy crawlies and guys are going to be. What, uh, what textures they're going to be reskinned as. That, that'll be fun to figure out. So can I actually get back to any, like, part of the map without breaking it? I should be able to. This should be it right here, right? This kind of... Ooh, I can, I can go up here. Is this a flagpole area? No, I can't go up here. Oops. Um, let's see. Well, we're still exploring parts of the map, so here we go. I guess we're going to a wintry section now. What I really should do... Ooh, there's snow. What I should really, really do is sleep. That way I uh, don't get killed by anything, but you know what? I am going to risk it to get the biscuit. Here we go. We are back right on track here. I can avoid all this. There we go. Okay, so now I want to head back toward Delfino Plaza. That's where I want to be at right now. So here we go. Hopefully Delfino Plaza is lit up just a little. Ooh. So technically... Oh, it's Poochie! Oh, Poochie! Poochie! Um, so can we not technically go over here? I don't care. I'm going to skip it. We're going to go. Boop. There we go. So Petey Piranha's kind of lit up. And there's our warp pipe down presumably we can go straight can't we so to, to not break the immersion of it we should be able nope I thought it was gonna transport us right to Delfino Plaza but it turns out it's not so at least there's not that oh it's over here is this something cool under here that I don't know about no nothing that I don't already know about what are you a crafting table okay all right that's uh that's another interesting choice for a uh, crafting table, have to admit. So, how do we get to Del- Ooh, it's all lit up. It must be uh, underneath here is uh, is some light. That's pretty cool. Ooh, this is a... Um, I don't know what this is supposed to be. Is this supposed to be... Um, I actually don't even know. Huh. Is it like the... Wa like the the wires that you walk on. Oh, you know what also is a problem? We're not using any of the Mario skins. We're not using any of the skins. Because if you look at my... Yeah, I'm still Steve. Oh, that's kind of boring. Oh, let's change that. We're going to go... We're going to go... Ch oh, the nether is even decked out. Cool. Uh, we're going to change that. Okay. So, help and options, change skin. Okay. Battle of the Beast. Nope, we're going to Super Mario right down here. Boom. Okay, so we got Mario. Mario with Flood. Luigi. Luigi with Poltergeist. Ooh, Poltergust. Peach, Yoshi, Bowser. Toad. Captain Toad. Donkey Kong. Diddy Kong. Oh, Diddy Kong's in this game, but not Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Okay. Daisy. Wario. Waluigi. Petey Piranha. Lemmy. Wendy. Morton. Larry. Iggy. Roy. Ludwig. Rosalina. Toadette. Birdo. Dr. Mario. Kamek. Koopa. Shy Guy. Uh, uh, Hammer Bro. Boom Boom. That's a weird one. Kitsune Luigi. Okay, Dry Bones, Bowser Jr., Mario, Tanuki Mario, Boomerang Mario, Propeller Mario, and Cat Mario, and Cat Peach. So, I'm going with Mario with Flood. That's, uh, that's my definitive choice here. Let's hop right back into the game. And survival, ooh, we're on peaceful? I don't think so, we're doing easy. We are doing easy, because I want to see these mobs, I want to see what they look like. I am not about that easy life. Well, yeah, I am, but, like, not... In Minecraft because I just want to I want to see what they look like so here we go okay so now we are decked out as Mario with the flood cool because we're on our way to Delfino Plaza okay so we have dry bones as the skeletons spider as there's a lot of enemies there's already a lot of enemies dude okay so we got the idea there <laughs> so here we go we're gonna go back into peaceful mode I, I've said this in my survival Minecraft series that the easy mode in Minecraft is so overwhelming at some points. Like the easy mode when I was a bit younger playing Minecraft was like the normal mode. I don't know. It just seems like it's a lot harder than it was when I was 
in a in a younger version of Minecraft. So here we go. We got our flood back up here. We got the idea though. We got dry bones. We have a uh, uh, hammer bros and all those sort of characters who are who are enemies. I should have I should have assumed that, but I didn't want to get too ahead of myself. So here's a normal village decked out with stuff. Oh, the Bowser. Uh, it's a Bowser cobblestone thing. Is there a chest in here with uh, ooh iron helmet? And an iron chest plate. I will take that because I am Frog Mario. There we go. Oh, that's cool. That's pretty sweet. So at least we can defend ourselves against nobody. And what are the NPCs? What are these guys supposed to be? You are. Oh, you're a uh, uh, Pantas. Hey. Cool looking guys. All right. So I need to get to Delfino Plaza. How do I get there? Um, this is a dead end. This is a dead end. Can't confirm. Can't get over there. Uh, let's see. So I would have to go up to Mount Corona, right? Or is it Corona, I think? Coronet? No. Mount Coronet is from Pokemon. Uh, let's see. What if I did go up here? Is this a, a legal way to get up here? It must be. Otherwise, I don't know how else I'd get up here. Here we go. Uh, without breaking any blocks still, hopefully it gives us a way to get up here. Yeah, definitely. Okay. And then we'll try to find the formal entrance afterward. But for now, we got this over here. Okay. Ooh. So you can actually go inside the mountain. You know what? We're already here. Might as well go inside of here. Let's see how, uh, how in-depth this goes and if there's any reward for our puzzle platforming skills. Um, ooh, there is. Okay. Um... This is straight out of Super Mario Sunshine, in case you didn't know that already. Um, that's a game I do want to do videos on eventually. Oh, no. I was close. Music disc. Oh. Cool. But I am healing right away, so I'm okay with this. I am okay with this. And I have my armor on, and I'm just going to wait till I am not on fire anymore. There we go. Uh, oh, there we go. Oh, there it is. Okay, beautiful. So now, no ba no, uh, no battle against Bowser, unfortunately, but, ooh. Cool. So here we are, right inside of Delfino Plaza. There should be a warp pipe up here, but there is no way for us to get up there. But actually, so, um, hopefully there is. Maybe there's not. But I'm gonna dive right off, just like I would in Super Mario Sunshine Go! Ah, oh, there we go. And hold it to swim up here. Okay. So, here's all the piantas. And these guys are horses? Iron golems. I don't know what you're supposed to be. Maybe you're out of Super Mario Galaxy? One of the robot guys? But I don't exactly know what you're supposed to be. Ah, uh, sorry. So, okay, so if we stand here and we look up at the sun, Moon will be transported to someplace, right? No, we won't, actually. No, not in Minecraft, okay. So, we shouldn't be able to go inside of here because there's nothing inside of here in the game but I guess we can now nothing inside of there all right cool uh, let's see nothing over here Ooh, that's a warp pipe for the flower pot no it's not a flower pot that's a uh, cauldron yeah a cauldron I was trying to think of the word for it I couldn't even remember that's pretty cool cauldron for a, uh, a, a warp pipe for a cauldron. That's a really, that's a heck of an upstairs area. Wow, you could, uh, that's all three square feet. Beautiful. Okay, let's see. Um, so none of the buildings in Super Mario Sunshine are actually openable, so this is all kind of improvised throughout this whole section up here. Again, really nice living space up here. Lots of space to do anything you wanted to. And a uh, block of gold. That's cool. A compact way of storing gold, even though that doesn't really do much in the actual game. Um, you access a secret level by going through here um, and breaking that open with your super jet flood guy. I really want to like parkour through here and do all the the fancy moves that you, you typically do in Mario Sunshine, but unfortunately, we cannot because we don't have any of those parkour skills. And I wish there was a way for NPCs to stay where you want them to. Because there should be piantas all along here. There should be a guy with sunglasses on over here. 
there should be... Ooh, a tripwire. Where? Well, I guess the point is you can't see it. There should be a little island over here. I know now I'm getting a little picky. Like, oh, you, you know, it's not a perfect recreation, Brian. But, you know, they got so far to, to do so much. And now some little things I left out, I understand. Hopefully they, uh... You know, if someone ever made a perfectly two scale, well, this is perfectly two scale, but if anyone ever made a perfect recreation of Delfino Plaza, then it has those little details. I don't expect the people at Microsoft to get every single little detail right, although it would be appreciated. 